Opportunity Replicate provides a unified platform to replicate and ingest data across all major databases, data warehouse platforms, and Hadoop, both on-premises and in the cloud. Users can leverage an intuitive and configurable GUI to quickly and easily set up data replication with no manual coding. Opportunity Replicate supports batch and real-time or continuous replication with centralized monitoring and control of small or large-scale environments. Let's walk through the process for replicating data from Oracle to Hadoop. First, in the Replicate UI, I go to Manage Endpoint Connections and define my HDFS and Hive Access details, and then I'll test the connection. Next, I define the Oracle data source, specifying the connection string and username and password to connect, and then test the connection. Now it's time to create the data replication task. I click the new task button and specify a name and then select the option to do a full load and store changes. In the task designer, I drag my Oracle source and Hadoop target into the task settings. Now I'll use the table selection tool to select the HR schema and search for the list of tables I want to replicate. In this case, I've selected four. Finally, I can save my changes and start the replication task. The Trinity Replicate UI automatically switches to monitor mode. Here, I can see real-time progress for my data loading process, showing me that four tables were successfully loaded. Now, the change data capture process is already running, so I'll use my data generation tool to create some inserts, updates, and deletions on my Oracle source. Opportunity Replicate will automatically detect those incoming changes and apply them to the Hadoop target in a change tracking table. With the data loading process completed, I can now browse the HDFS target directory to take a look at the target data in the employees table. Similarly, the change data was written to a change tracking directory which can be easily merged into the target Hive tables. Let's use the Hive Database Explorer to take a look at the data that's been written to the target tables. A quick query of the Employees table shows me the top 100 records. And finally, we can see the data that was written to the Employees Change table. Thanks for your time. For more information, please visit us at achinity.com.